talk about breastfeeding before my daughter was born you know my plan was to breastfeed simply because everyone's always said that breast breast was best and um, obviously I'll be saving a lot of money because I won't have to buy formula etc I never really did too much research into it but I did know that a lot of the positive things came with breastfeeding like it helps the baby fight off diseases it helped the baby be stronger and apparently evidence shown that babies in long term that were breastfed just were healthier all round I wasn't I wasn't aware that you know the shape or the kind of nipple you have could make breastfeeding a challenge for you so when I did give birth I feel like in the hospital there was a breastfeeding specialist but um, she took so long to come around to me I was there for, I was in the hospital for four days and she saw me literally about half an hour before I actually left on the fourth day because she apparently she had so many runs to run so she didn't have time to get to everyone and I was having a problem with breastfeeding because one of my boobs was clogged up and the other boob she'd been suckling for it for two days and still nothing was come out so I got to use the, um, one of the breast pumps that was in the hospital to try and get my milk flowing and by that time I was already giving her formula uh, from the hospital that they had supplied with me because the baby hadn't eaten for two days and she was hungry and no one like really encouraged me to breastfeed when I was telling the other nurses that oh my boobs seem really clogged up or something is not right no one seemed to care enough if that makes sense I remember I went up to one of the midwives and I was like my boob is clogged up what do I do to get milk to come out of it and she was just like to me well it just happens sometimes I guess you're gonna have to formula feed not that I have a problem with formula feeding because my baby does have take formula and breast but you know it kind of threw me off like I had originally planned to breastfeed and now I'm being told that I don't even have the option but until I got to the breastfeeding specialist who told me to put a warm pad on it and you know heat it up to get the milk flowing I had no idea but because I'd already given my daughter formula she was already used to milk that hadn't comes fast and I have um, flat nipples so for her latching on was a huge problem and she just wouldn't latch on and she just wanted her bottle because I wasn't, I didn't have a breast pump, I hadn't bought a breast pump before I gave birth because I was assuming that I'll buy one later on when I decide to go back to work or when I want to go out and actually need one and I was planning to breastfeed so I hadn't bought a breast pump because I'd gone home on a Sunday night no, su yeah, sun during the day on the Sunday um, there were no shops that were open and I was not able to purchase a breast pump so I had to resort to formula and the bottle but since my daughter likes the fact that with the bottle she didn't have to try so hard because obviously of my flat nipple um, it became a problem because she just refused to take my boob and I was really getting really disappointed because I thought maybe I'll never be able to breastfeed and you know there was all this pressure from everyone that oh I have to breastfeed I have to breastfeed which you know is understandable because they care about the health and well-being of my daughter and you know I, I went into breastfeed I didn't want to have to buy formula so what ended up happening was that she just wouldn't take the breast at all she could, couldn't latch on I tried every sort of like means that health visitor told me I looked online I tried everything it just wasn't working when one of the health visitors came she told me to buy um, these nipple shields and try so uh, first of all I originally bought this nipple shield is it what's the, is it Avent, Avent um, brand by Philips. When I used this nipple shield, um, I don't feel like it actually was working because it didn't actually properly stick on and it was hard for me. I thought it would be easier since it's like got, you know, this sort of um, shape so that you can just put it around your nipple. Um, it wasn't that easy to use. I know it came in different sizes, but the nipple, if you can see the nipple, was just way too wide for my baby's mouth and she wouldn't take it she just wouldn't like it just wasn't working I tried to squeeze milk into it let her suck but the holes are even too big the nipple was just too wide it just wasn't working out for me so then I researched some other this one was about three to five pounds for this one um, they come in a set of two so I researched to see if there was another type so that at least I try another type Then that's when my mum found me these ones uh, they're the Medela ones or is it Medea? Medea um, I loved these, these were perfect so this is what this one looks like, it's more rounded 
at the bottom this is the Madea one and this is the one I preferred I feel like the Madea one was perfect this one was a bit more expensive I think it was about 10 pounds from Tesco that's how much I got this one for but it was I, I think it was completely worth it so what I'll do I'll squeeze a little bit and then attach it or attach it squeeze a little bit and I'll get help from my mom or someone to hold the baby and then I'll squeeze and then um, she starts sucking and then I would leave it and she would suck on her own and she was sucking from for up to 10 minutes 15 minutes with this the other trick was not to try and breastfeed her when she was hungry what I had to do was give her a little bit of formula her something in her stomach so that she's not angry or frustrated because my daughter when she wants milk she wants milk there and then she's not very patient so my trick was give her a little bit of formula so that she's satisfied and then stick her onto my boob and that seemed to work because as soon as you put it in like she's not too fussy but she's still hungry enough to suck and I would squeeze a little bit in there it was helping my nipple come out because when she was sucking she'd be sucking so hard that the nipple would actually take the shape of this uh, tip and my dad advised me that while she's getting used to this because we don't want her to get used to the tip we want her to breastfeed um, just keep trying her you know doing the same thing give her a little bit of even if it's expressed milk breast milk whatever it was just give her a little bit of milk so that she's not too frustrated not too upset and then stick her on uh, without um, this and see what she does and for a while she wouldn't take my boob she was confused to what it was and then one day I just was tired and I couldn't bother to reach over to get the um, nipple shield and she was hungry and I just put her on my boob and she just started sucking I was so determined like every time I would use this nipple shield before I give her well, obviously I would give her a little bit of the bottle but then I would go straight to the nipple shield and then after she got used to the nipple shield before I put it on I always used to try my boob then put the nipple shield on and that seemed to be perfect that seemed to be working from the day that she took my boob I stopped using the nipple shields because I thought if she gets used to like sucking from my boob then I won't need to use these which actually works these nipple shields really really helped me out they were a lifesaver and if anyone has flat or inverted nipples I would 100% recommend these Medea nipple shields now my baby drinks straight from the boob obviously it was painful because I wasn't used to breastfeeding without a shield and it was different um, but you know I was just happy that my baby was getting um, breast milk yeah my tactics worked for me and I hope they can work for someone else out there so hopefully this video was helpful to someone thank you so much for watching i hope to see you again